Every single Ramadan, we witness the same horrific images that dominate our screens. Worshippers being shot at by rubber bullets, mosques being shaken by smoke grenades, the elderly disregarded and shoved, fathers beaten in front of their children, and in true Israeli style, Israeli officers bullying those half their age. And as usual, all this takes place as a precursor to the bombing of the Gaza Strip, which we have only witnessed this morning. Evidently, it seems that events in Palestine have fallen on deaf ears, whereas only a month ago, the world and media platforms stood in collective outrage at the horrors that unfolded in Ukraine. News outlets celebrated heroes that took up arms against Russian aggression with the Molotov cocktails. Yet today, in response to the Palestinian struggle, we see a stark and a bitter contrast. Media outlets continue to reduce Israeli aggression to a mere clash between opposing sides. Articles single out and cast blame upon Palestinian children for merely throwing rocks at some of the most equipped military personnel in the world. Let's be clear, this is not a clash. The United Nations, alongside Amnesty International, have actively labeled Israel as an apartheid state. So you would expect that the language should change. The double standards have also leaked into the workings of social media. Last month, we saw Facebook and Instagram drastically change their policy on hate speech to accommodate for posts urging violence against Russian invaders. Yet today, we are seeing accounts and pages actively being shadow banned and having their videos taken down for simply showing what is taking place in Palestine. It's an unfortunate recycle pattern that we consistently see, yet despite the continued attempts to subdue and demoralize the Palestinian people, the continued aggression by Israeli forces, the psychological warfare, the constant abuse, the heckling, and the desecration of sacred symbols, as time and time again we are shown, in their attempts and schemes, they are met with the unwavering spirit of the Palestinian people. Free Palestine.